circle house. And they do have circle houses. And milk, you're right, Emily. It used to be quiet at the Lang household as Brian and Lisa parented their biological son, Isaiah. But over the last five years, the family says they've been called by God to adopt two Taiwanese and two Ethiopian orphans. I think it's a direct correlation between listening to God, him expressing this desire, and, and, and we clearly know it's from him insofar as that he says in James to look after orphans and widows in their distress. Although they had God on their side, Brian said it was not an easy decision. We wanted to make sure that we're the right parents and that we can offer the kids the right help. Lisa said the most difficult aspect of raising foreign children is expectations. And adoption of older children, I think it's what they expect from you as a parent and what you expect from them. And culturally, you know, those things can be different. The family has embraced their diversity by using different words from each child's language. We're not a white family who's, who's you know, brought in other people and made them to be white, right? We're, yeah, we're Chinese. We're just as much Chinese as we are anything, and we're just as much Ethiopian as anything. Lisa said the Jamestown community has also embraced their family. The youngest daughter, Emily, attends the Ann Carlson Center for Physical Therapy twice a week, and Abraham is the neighborhood's favorite. He goes outside and, you know, everybody wants to have him over their house and that kind of thing, and so, but that's been the general response, you know, has been really good. Brian and Lisa choose to teach their children at home instead of using the public school system because both parents enjoy teaching their children and like to choose what their children study. Lisa is teaching them about cultures that do not have access to Bibles, such as the Jitula people. What do they like? Um, yogurt. They do like yogurt. Chicken. Yogurt. Chicken. And chicken, yes. And chicken. Horsey. And horses, Horsey. that's right. And Lisa manages a blog called Mother's Bible to encourage other moms to teach their children scripture. Just as Brian and Lisa say they were called to adopt, Lisa says God will show the blog to moms that need it. And if he has particular moms that he wants to bless by it, then he will find a way to show it.